poo. Oh, Minerva, should have known you'd be here. You're always up in everybody's business. The idea of you being in charge of an infant gave me nausea, so I had to come. No worries, group outing. That's on top. Have you seen Hagrid yet? Do you think it's wise trusting Hagrid with something as important as this? Catty, Minerva, even for you. All right, lads, storks arrived. <laughs> Oh my god, Minerva, look, I'm holding a baby and I didn't drop it yet. Well done, now please put him down. Okie dokie. Oh, I didn't mean right there on the floor. What do you mean? Well, aren't you gonna knock? Knock where? On the door. Minerva, the only thing better than a surprise is a surprise baby. Trust me, the muggles are gonna love it. it just doesn't seem that safe. This is why we don't invite you to things. That kid just killed a guy. I think it can handle a doorstep. Right, job well done. Should we go for a drink? To spoons. Nando's first, then, yeah. Get up! Now! <laughs> oh, no, it's Augustus Gloop. Wake up, Potter! <laughs> We're going to the zoo! <gasps> you belong in a zoo. Oh, abuse! Why don't you just cook the breakfast and try not to burn anything? Yes, Gordon Ramsay. Hurry up! Bring my coffee, boy! I've only got two hands. I'm not magic. <gasps> Presents. <laughs> There. 36 counted them myself 36 but last year last year i had 37 i just want one well, some are quite a bit bigger than last year i don't care how big they are <laughs> me neither <laughs> that is disgusting do the roar snakes don't roar do it do the roar for my son do the roar he's asleep and your parents are dead <sighs> sorry about him He's a dick. And I'm a snake. Can you hear me? A slithery little snake. I've never talked to a snake before. <laughs> snake friends, yes. Yeah, snake friends. Ah! Do the roar. Abuse. I love you, daddy. Ow. That's my snake friend. Splash. <gasps> Was that you? You little snake. Well, I guess you're free now. Thank you. No food for a week. Let me guess, you're gonna eat it. Elbus Percival Wolfric. Oh God, what have I done now? Brian Dumbledore. Yes, Sweet Pea? Don't you Sweet Pea me, I have seen the admissions letters for next year's students. Yes. Harry Potter's is there. So? It's addressed to the cupboard under the stairs. Yeah, I saw that, bit suspicious. I told you that day that they were dreadful, and now 11 years later I improved right at Harry's expense. Minerva, you're overreacting. He might like it in the cupboards. Sorry, what? He might just prefer a minimalistic lifestyle. Do not sit there on that throne and tell me that this boy likes living in a cupboard. Also, we don't know his behaviour yet. He might be the worst. Maybe he deserves it. I am going to throw that throne out the window. Don't be silly, Minerva. It's my favourite. I just bought it. Is that so? have my throne back in 11 years you never went to visit him either hello i wondered when i'd be seeing you mr potter my scars under my hair how do you know who i am shut up let's try this one a stick cool give it a wave all right <coughs> oops please don't beat me don't even have parents to pay for it great hardly my fault sir try this one are you sure you woke up and chose violence. What the heck is going on? I wonder. This guy is so weird. Try this one. <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? That wand has a brother. It's curious that you should be destined for this one. When it's brother, Thanos to your parents. You like bringing that up, don't you, Grandpa? He did great things. Ahem. <clears throat> Terrible, I guess, but great. Before we begin, Professor Dumbledore would like to say a few words. Hello, my little munchkins. Welcome to Hogwarts. Few announcements. Firstly, the Dark Forest is strictly forbidden to all students. Unless you get detention. Then we'll send you in unprepared and unsupervised. There are giant spiders in there that'll eat your face clean off. Centaurs, you ever been kicked by a centaur? I tell you what, you ain't walking back. Tell them about the demons. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's demons in there. You'll get possessed. Come back to the castle like... <laughs> Holy cricket. I saw a tiger in there once. A tiger? 
Are you sure you weren't in cat form and it wasn't just your shadow? I'll never feel a bit stupid. Next, third floor corridor, out of bounds to anyone who does not wish to die a most painful death. Is it too late to run? Yeah, it is. Now, I can't tell you what's down there. It's a massive secret. It rhymes with tree-bedded log. Oh, a three-headed... Stop talking to me. Right, let's get the party started. Harry Potter has come to Hogwarts. This is Crab, Goyle, and I'm Malfoy. Draco Malfoy. <laughs> Think my name's funny, do you? No need to ask yours. Red hair and a hand-me-down robe. You must be a Weasley. You must be an arsehole. You want to go, Weasley? Huh? Huh? Psycho. Listen here, Potter. You're currently making friends with a conservation project. Ginger is a recessive gene, and they're gonna die out. Besides, with a complexion like that, he can't even go in the sun. The grounds here are pretty nice. You're gonna want to play outside. He can't do it. He'll get burns, just like I'm doing right now. Your burns are a bit tepid, actually. Lukewarm. Shut up, you're poor! Be my friend, Potter. Everyone's gonna be simping for me in the future. You're gonna want a piece of it. Mm, um, no. My father. Get back in line, Shirley Temple, before I drag you over there by your widow's peak. That's what I thought, Blondie. We're ready for you now. Follow me. Troll in the dungeon! Troll in the dungeon! Thought you ought to know. Uh. Oh, that's just rude. He sees Hagrid every day. <coughs> oh, you're there. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't see you. I'm a big man, but I still got feelings. Um... Is he dead? No, I don't think so. Back of his head's twitching. <coughs> oh, everyone stop panicking. Prefects, what did I give you those badges for, man? Take your houses back to the dormitories. But, sir, our dormitory's in the dungeon. Aw, Minerva, the Slytherins are talking to me like I care about them. Shut your snaky mouth and go and fight the troll. How come when he bullies children, everyone's down, but when I do it, no? I heard trolls don't like cats. I'm going to stay here. We're all going to stay here, Minerva. The Slytherins can handle it. <laughs> Great, this has gone far enough. Let's try it again. Oh, do we have to? Yes. Re. Bray. Vin. Ven. Claw. Claw. Ravenclaw. Eaglefoot. Ugh. Raven. Raven. Claw. Claw. Ravenclaw. Penguin toe. No, you are doing this on purpose now. Ravenclaw. Flamingo hand. It's really disrespectful to those houses, Albus, please. It's not my fault that Gryffindor makes sense and the rest don't. How exactly does Gryffindor make sense? Because the door to my office is a griffin. I see it every day. When was the last time you saw a freaking badger? Ugh, forget it. I love the badger fluffs and the eagle foots. It's just the Slytherins I despise. But you can get their name right. Obviously, I'll remember them. They make sense as well. Always slithering around those sneaky little serpents. That's not true. There's loads of good ones. You're being childish. You're being childish? Uh, I've got presents. It's like stealing candy from... Oh, oh, Harry, you're awake. Boy, you're a little fighter. I didn't expect you to be up for at least a couple hours. I 100% wasn't coming here to eat your sweets. <gasps> oh, my God. That was Ron, 100%. I saw him. What's it all for? You killed a guy, Harry, and I know I wasn't supposed to tell anyone, but... Then I accidentally told everyone. Oh, my God, you won't believe it. Harry killed a guy. <gasps> Hazard, can we talk about how you're a natural? Just scrambled him so there's not even a body for people to ask questions about. You little professional. Can't wait for our future quests. You mean that wasn't a one-off? Oh, we're going to have so much fun. This one was non-compulsory, though. If you'd have just stayed in bed, Quirrell wouldn't have been able to get the stone. Me and Minerva were waiting on the third floor corridor with a sack. We were going to throw it over him and say, Not in my school! So thank you for ruining that plan for me. Anyway, killer, I've got a bounce. Glad you're cool. Okay, fine, it was me. Yeah, I figured that. Don't tell Minerva. So the winner of the house cup is... Slytherin. No, Minerva, I'm just not feeling it. Doesn't matter what you feel, we won. The winner is... Slytherin. No! I've got some last minute house boys. Albus, that's cheating. To give to Gryffindor. Oh, never mind. Carry on. To my little Satsuma, Ronald Weasley. <laughs> you trounced Minerva at her favourite game. She literally cried. He's 12 and I was trying really hard. 50 points. Next, Hermione Granger for taking such good care of my main man, Hazard. From what I've heard, you two get on in perfect harmony. What do you think he means? I don't know. I'm sure we'll find out. 
50 points. Now to the boy of the hour, Hazatron the Hazanator, the little murderer who makes grown men crumble. Harry Potter gets 60 points. How's the maths looking on that? Doing more points. My little man Nev. 10 points to our lad Nev because his gran is a hobgoblin. Ooh, I've won both cups. Oh.